So in this video, we're gonna be talking about how to strategically place yourself in a position to make 2X, 3X, 4X more, and the five mistakes that you need to avoid that are gonna stop you from doing this. So let's jump into it. Mistake number one. Letting the idea of fear of what people think affect your decision to take that first step forward and move towards that new career, that new job, maybe it's a new business. Here's the point, your potential is here. You have a sense, deep down, you have a bit of knowingness that you have more to give the world and you're in a job that is at this level here. It's not challenging you enough. And as human beings, when we're in a position like that, we're not being challenged, it's normal to not not be fulfilled. And here's a bit of inspiration from the king of chocolate himself. So who is this guy? He dropped out of school at the age of 12 years old and didn't start his business until 38 years old. Now I'm talking about Milton Hershey, the guy who made the Hershey bar, the guy that you have probably eaten as chocolate. And you have to put this in perspective. Even back in the day, this was uh, 1857 when he was born, 1895 when he actually launched his business. That was a crazy idea back in the day. And I'm not saying you wake up tomorrow and you tell your wife, baby, you're looking at the king of chocolate 2.0, the next Willy Wonka. I am not saying that at all. And if you're somebody that's in a position where someone else is helping fund your lifestyle, they're not the ones that ultimately have to wake up, look in the mirror and say, you know what, I'm doing what I want and I'm standing for what I believe in and I'm working towards my potential every day, that's you. So you have to eventually learn how to put those opinions to the side, even if this career change takes some time to actually put in play. Moving on to mistake number two, letting the fear of failure stop you from going towards this new career, this business, this change. Here's a little mind trick to get over that. When you approach something new, rather than looking at the idea of failure, look at this as a test. And this is a trick that I actually use in advertising. When I launch a new ad or I launch a new concept into the marketplace or a new business venture, I always go in with this mindset of, okay, let's go ahead and test this out and see how it does, see what the response is. And when you think about it that way, you might even have test one, test two, test three, a few different approaches that you're thinking about in mind before you even go out on this new venture. And that is a lot easier to deal with because from the beginning, you are accepting that idea that you may run into barriers. There might not be an instant response from the marketplace. That job you had in mind, that career you had in mind, that business you had in mind, it just lines up perfectly. You might run into a few barriers, a few problems. All right, let me make this a little bit more applicable. Let's just say you wanna be a personal trainer. You can look at the certification, the education needed, but in the meantime, you could pick up a position being a sales rep at a gym. You could be an assistant to a notable trainer in the area. Maybe you're helping them with billing, admin organization. Again, it allows you to be in that environment and figure out if that's something you really wanna do because when you do that, you get to experience what that position's really like. And what I found is that a lot of people choose careers based off of what other people think, meaning they're not even choosing for themselves. They're thinking with the idea of what their perception would look like to other people if they had that career. That was a bit confusing. Maybe we're getting a little bit too philosophical. Point being is you can have these different tests where you're getting your foot in the door, getting some experience and figuring out, hey, is this really what you wanna do? And guess what? You don't gotta get it right on the first time. The average person actually has seven to 12 jobs throughout their lifetime. At this point in the video, we're gonna move to mistake number three. But before we do that, give this video a like, comment if you have any questions or some feedback, or maybe you disagree with me and feel free to subscribe. So mistake number three, being overwhelmed by the idea of change, meaning when someone's overwhelmed, they get stuck. Let's just say you wanna start a business and that's what you think you want to move into. You wanna go from being an employee to a business owner. Now, this same technique works. You don't need to figure out all of the different aspects of the business up front. You need to get a proof of concept. So there's some simple ways to do that. Number one is you can actually white label a product. Number two is you can go ahead and take that same approach where you have an idea of a business, you work for a business that's in that field, you get some experience, you get to learn firsthand the inner workings of that business before you go ahead and throw 
20, 30, 40, 50 K at an idea that you're not even sure if you want to do this idea up front. So that is mistake number three. Moving on to mistake number four, believing you are wasting time if it doesn't work out. Every single experience I've had, even if it wasn't what I did long term, it helped me become more adaptable for the next scenario, the next situation. And I'll give you an example. So originally I went and worked for a company. It was a sales training company and that taught me something. And then from there, I actually went to create my own marketing agency and learned a lot about Facebook ads, Instagram ads, YouTube, and the different workings of social media. And then eventually I went on to create my own business. And those two pieces before helped me do the next business. And it also made me more prepared for the future. If for some reason I needed to actually go back into the workforce and work for someone else, man, I've done it all. I've done sales, I've done marketing. All of those made me a better suited employee and it's nice when you can actually hire someone as a business owner that's had all that experience and the same thing applies for you. And typically, if you have the right frame of mind, you're gonna realize you're gonna learn some new things. You're gonna learn some skill sets. You're gonna become a higher value candidate and employee in the future, or you're gonna become a more prepared business owner to deal with new circumstances. And that is something that nobody can ever take away from you. Keep this in mind, you may fail two, three, four, five times, multiple times, and throughout that process, people are gonna be questioning you. They're gonna be asking, why are you doing this? Why are you pursuing this? And it might be unimaginable to them, but understand, you can strike out 10 times, 20 times, 30 times, 40 times, and all it takes is that one home run where you lock in that dream job, that dream career, you start that business and you start making 200, 300, 400K, 150K, whatever it is that you wanna do, you pull up in the Lambo, the Ferrari, maybe you're eco-friendly, you know, it's a Tesla, maybe you're a minimalist, you wanna go with the Prius, whatever it is, I'm saying you lock it down, you create that dream life, you're fill, filled throughout the process and at that point, that's when people will be like, oh yeah, this guy actually knew what he was doing. That's a part of the game. Let's go ahead and talk about mistake number five. Mistake number five is to make sure that you see it through to the end and you give yourself enough time because yes, you wanna pursue these different experiences, but you wanna make sure that you actually go through the work, you do it. It's not gonna be easy. I never said it was gonna be easy. You're gonna have new challenges. And ideally, if you're not fulfilled and you are bored, it means that you need to do something that's a little bit harder. Now, you do need some self-awareness to differentiate what that looks like versus you doing something and knowing internally, like if I did this for the rest of my life, I would be absolutely miserable right? You need to know the difference. With that in mind, give this video a like if you got any value from this content and give me a comment if you have any feedback or you have any questions and I'll see you in the next one.